Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. As you see, I'm, well, don't see, I'm in the car. I'm making my way out to the shed. It's within the five kilometer range that we can now travel out to. And I'm going to get our gazebo because as you know, we can't get out to campsites. So I can't do campsite reviews. So this is another one of these virus videos. And we're gonna show you the gazebo we use that we got. So I'm gonna collect it, bring it back home, and I'm gonna set it up on the deck out in the patio out in the back garden. So bear with me, no road footage. The next time I talk to you, I should be at the shed showing you the gazebo, the way it's packed and the way we have it in the camper van, okay? So we've made it out to uh, the storage yard. Just going to uh, open up the gate, get out the safari room, just show you how we pack it and what size it is. I'll throw it in the boot of the car and we'll head back to the house and uh, erect it. So this is the unit here. Um, we bought it in Decathlon. Oh, I've got a table and chair on top of it. We bought it in Decathlon about, gosh, it must be three years ago. I remember Ross had one from our camping crew and he was so used to putting it up, it went, it went up in minutes. But this is it here. And that's it, full size. Everything is in there. I think it's three meters square. You've got the canvas, you've got the legs, you've got the pegs. Uh, the pegs are in a bag. There's roof pegs, roof, roof poles. Then you've got the poles and the canvas in that. I think it was about 120 sterling delivered overnight. So this is the shelter that we got from the Catalan. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the legs up here. I'll put the canvas stretched out over there. It comes with the poles in the bag like that. And the canvas is like that. So I'm gonna roll this out over there and then I get Deirdre to help me to put it over the frame in a couple of minutes. Now, this is gonna be too awkward to do, obviously, with the microphone on. So I'll just switch that camera on and I'll put another camera on from there. We'll speed it up, get the poles up, and then I come back. something I never thought of. Is it going to fit? It's obviously um, too big to fit on the decking so I might just move it off for the next piece. I'm going to get Deirdre to help me throw the canvas over. These are poles that you put across the roof when you have the canvas over and then that gives you the apex on the roof. So I'll go and I get the canvas first and then I'll have to get inside and show you what we do there. Okay, so I got Deirdre down. We moved the frame off the decking, off the porch, into the garden here, and we've thrown the canvas over it. And I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like. I'll turn this camera around here now. So as you see, the canvas is over it. Now this comes with three openings and a window. We've placed the window over there to the back. Now you throw the canvas over it, and then you gotta go inside and put the roof bars in and Velcro each corner. So let's go inside and I'll show you how we do that. Now, I'm holding the microphone because it's a short lead and I've got a dog. <laughs> um, this is not gonna be the easiest piece to film, but I've gotta show you. You get crossbars that go from each corner and that pushes up the roof. And then there are Velcro points on the top that you Velcro the tent, the gazebo, to the bars. 
So I'll try my best to film this and we'll show you how it works. Starting with these tent pegs or with these roof poles and how they go in. And there's also Velcro on the roof to hold them in place. So we start by obviously taking them out of the bag, separating them and putting them together. And everything is spring loaded. Now on the video, on the Catalan, a couple can put this up. I don't know if you can hear me, but a couple can put this up in 15 minutes, to be honest. This goes into a peg on that corner. It goes into a peg on this corner. And then there is Velcro just to hold it in place. And there's Velcro here as well, just to hold it in place. And then you do the same with this side. There. Now, at this stage, I also have the gazebo up to its highest point. This is how tall it is. And then you just got two. Pull it into shape, getting the corners into the corners. Okay, so this is the Velcro piece here. And it goes around the pole. And then you pull everything down taut. Now, in at the bottom of these pegs, there are, at the corner of each tent, there's this piece of red that has to get strapped around. Excuse my arms there on each corner and that pulls the tent nice and taut into each corner and they're on every corner you'll see that there's a red one there and you just have to get it outside and again not easy to do when you're trying to hold a camera so hang on a second i'll get this done so there's one of them on every corner that you need to get in. This is definitely not a one-man job. And then when you get your co-star, no, the star sitting down like that, it doesn't help either. But let's just pull back a little bit and we'll show you when we open up and zip up how simple this really, really is. Just going to unplug the microphone for a second. So it comes with the normal wires or stay lines for tying it down on each corner. And then there's a peg in the center of each one as well. Window, that all tidies up. You can fold it and tidy it up. But in here, it's a gin palace. It's a playroom for the kids. We normally set up two or three of them pretty close to each other so we can have a bit of a, a fine size room if we're all out camping with the crew. All of the dogs love sitting in here. Don't you, Charlie? You love coming in here. Um, the kids use them for playrooms if the weather's not fine enough. At night time, we put down a ground sheet. I think we got the ground sheet in Aldi or Little. Uh, it's much bigger than this. It's much bigger than three meters square. But we put down a ground sheet. I actually have two. One has a hole in the middle. Word of warning, don't light a gas stove that's floor level for heat. It might burn a hole in your uh, ground sheet. Isn't that right, Ross? Anyway, we love them. The Cathlon, about 110, 120 sterling delivered overnight. Seriously, two of us could put this up 10, maybe 15 minutes, all the stay wires and all the pegs down. And equally then, it takes a bit of getting used to folding it to fit it back into that bag, but we've got it done. Or you just call on our buddy Ross and he'll do it for you because he's a dab hand at doing it. So the gazebo, AKA the day room, the family room, the hangout room, the gin palace, as we've been known to call it in the camping crew. As I say, the Cathlon, about 110, 120 euro. I don't know, I know they were gone for a while, so I don't know if they still have them for sale. But 
Some campsites charge for gazebos, some airs, the likes of Dick's Field, charge for gazebos. Frank's Field, if it's busy, they don't let you put them out, never mind putting out your awning. But if we're staying somewhere on a campsite for a while, it comes out and it is. It's great shade in the heat and it's, it's great in the chilly evenings to sit out. As I say, we hang lights, fairy lights, decorative lights, or a torch hanging from it. We light a fire. Sometimes, if the crew are together, Ross will have a, um, a barbecue fire going outside. But we have these little small fires that you can run off the small cylinders of gas. And they keep the heat going. Do you know, I've even been known in the autumn, winter months to run a lead out and plug in a blow heater while we're sitting out there. But they're great. They're great for the kids. They're great for eating in zip them up go away so you can store stuff in them and as you know on site 99 percent of the time people leave you alone and you can put your bikes in there or just just close the doors and, and walk away and when we have the spiral dog holders screwed down into the ground put them on a 10 foot lead or just leave them on the lead and they come in and sit on our laps and they're absolutely brilliant another one of these videos as i said earlier on that we just wanted to show you and we thank you for watching the videos through these strange times. Uh, here we are. Uh, we've been moved out of the office because Deirdre's working from home. So she's in Charlie and Me HQ and this is Charlie and Me HQ dining room. And that's where we're coming from today. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again very soon. Bye bye.